Hello, I'm Sean Jones. Welcome to your week in tech. London-based startup Print announced a $2 million seed round ahead of its June launch for its smartphone photo printing service. Mercia Fund Management has made a £150,000 investment in Customer Clever, a startup which uses cloud-based facial recognition software. And two major investment funds were announced this week. The Business Growth Fund has unveiled the largest ever VC fund for early stage startups. The £200 million fund will open in September and focus on investment between £2 million and £10 million pounds for small and mid-sized companies. Berlin's Point9 Capital has opened its third investment fund focused on seed and early-stage investment in SaaS and marketplace startups. Now, the fund will invest between €100,000 and €1 million Euros in around 40 early-stage companies. More detail has started to emerge about the government's plans on surveillance. The communications data bill had previously been blocked by the Liberal Democrats in the last government. The new bill will not only include the Snoopers Charter, enabling the tracking of everyone's web and social media use, but will also strengthen the security services' powers to intercept communications content on a large scale. Creator of the World Wide Web, Tim Berners-Lee, who opposes these measures, has urged people to get involved with the debate, saying it's very important for democracy and it's very important for business. Now, over in the US, the bill allowing security services to operate a mass collection of data has expired. It's replaced by the Freedom Act, which removes the right of the government to collect people's phone records, but will rely on phone companies to keep data on their customers. And in other news, the dark web took a hit this week, with Ross Ulbricht, founder of Silk Road, being sentenced to life in prison. Silk Road was an online marketplace for the sale of drugs and other illegal products, where customers could buy anonymously and pay in bitcoins. Prosecutors say more than a million drug deals took place on Silk Road, earning Ulbricht over $18 million in Bitcoin. Now, are you a fan of discovering London's most exclusive and in-demand restaurants? Well, our download of the week, Uncover, lets you find and book last-minute tables at the trendiest hotspots. You can dine at Michelin-starred classics like Tram Shed and Lyles, Merchant's Tavern and Kitchen Table. And finally, a BBC journalist caused a storm this week by accidentally tweeting that the Queen is dead. Now, there's been some confusion with the reporter blaming pranksters getting hold of her phone, but the BBC has blamed a mix-up during a rehearsal for the Queen's funeral. This has been your Week in Tech. Thank you so much for watching. For more, do check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.